Give it up for our sister. We've got a big uh, up right now. Kid Casper is going to come up. Yes, He's going to share with us. You aren't? Kid Casper. All right. And while he's setting up, I just want to take a minute to commend all of the young people that are here, the brave young people who are coming out here and speaking out. I've been uh, trying to make sure that I, I, I talk to some of the folks that are my age and older. We need to make sure that we're supporting them and we're listening. It's been a hard week, y'all. It's been a hard week. I thank God today that I made it today because my life was threatened back home, fighting for my life out here. I'm happy that my brothers and sisters were able to make it back home and hug their parents. I don't think y'all know how fragile black life is. Especially right now. If I pray for two hours a day, I gotta make it four. If I have to take medication to sleep, I have to take twice the dosage. It's been a hard week, y'all. But I must be doing something right to get this opposition. So I gotta go harder when I feel like quitting. And that goes for everybody else out here. Put your foot on the gas. My grandma used to always say, if the devil ain't testing you, you're probably sitting in this passenger seat. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. That's real. And she used some colorful language, but you know, this baby's out here, so I'm going to be good. Thank y'all for making it out here today. This is real. I mean, like I said it last week, this is Cecil freaking County. Look at y'all. I've been hearing stories about Cecil County since high school. I remember Rise, Rising Sun came down to my high school after a football game, and they one of these, what did you say when you were here last time? Jesus loves them. He just doesn't like them that much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jesus loves them very, very much. Um, but I had some people from this town come to my town, my home, my stomping grounds, my hood, trying to instill fear in me. Funny how God works out, because now I'm in theirs right now. Yep. I'm in their county right, right now. Yeah, Thank y'all for having me. America can't be great again if it ain't never been great. I'm going to talk to y'all real quick. Is that OK? I might get a little loud, so give me some grace. When was America great for everybody? Never. Well, we, you know, we got liberated from England. We got liberated from England. Yeah, I thought my ancestors, you know, fought for their master's freedom in that war, and then they got what? What was it? Eighty. 86, 80, no, 89, 80 plus years more of free labor. So when was America great? 
when slavery was abolished. As my brother put it a couple weeks ago, we fell for the okie doke where we celebrate the one day, the one day. When was, when was America great? When colored people had to sit in the back of a bus? Huh? When was America great, huh? When my grandmother gets pulled out of the house because they're trying to inst instill fear for her not to vote? When was America great, huh? I need y'all to talk to me. When was America great? I'm trying to figure it out. How about Tulsa? Was America great then? But we got Obama. This government shows me that they could put a nail in the wall. That's good. Build me a freaking house. Don't flatter yourself. When was America great again? When? I'm still waiting. I might get a little angry out here, y'all. This is 400 years of PTSD being handed down by blood blinder, by bloodline, by bloodline, by bloodline. This is. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. All right, cool. My bad. Got a little excited. I'm gonna push you right there. Right. Chill out. Chill out, baby girl. Chill out right there for a second. When? When? Not yet. Charlottesville? Not yet. Ferguson? Not yet. Baltimore riots? Yeah. You know what started all those? First off, to my allies out here, I love y'all. So obviously I'm not talking about y'all with yeah. what I'm about to say right now. Well, break it down and make it plain. I got you. Break it down and make it plain, son. Two weeks ago, I mentioned that uh, African proverb a child that will not feel the warmth of the village will burn it down. Right. I'm not condoning the riots. I'm not. But this country started on a riot. Yeah, right. yeah, come on, come on. This country started on a riot. Where do you think my people learned it from? Come on now. Make it plain. Come on now. When was America great? When my Asian brothers and sisters are getting beat up because of Kung flu. Thank you, President Trump. I'm sorry, my celebrity in chief, my bad. <laughs> when was America great? When? When Philando Castile got his arm blown off? His arm blown off in front of his daughter. Was America great then? We watched a man get lynched while we were on quarantine for eight minutes and 46 seconds. We watched a man plead for his life, his dead mother. When was America great? For all. Come on now. Never. Never. For all. Never. It's going to come. It's coming. They keep killing us. This is giving us more names to yell out here. For real. So anybody that try to tell me we're trying to make America great again, I'm going to ask them for who? For who? The only time your privilege feels threatened is when equality gets brought up. I see the babies out here. I see the young and the old out here. I see brown, I see black, to, I see black to brown to white out here. Family is not biological. This is chemical out here. We got chemistry out here. And I say that to say, 
One of my sisters put, posted this on Cecil Solidarity. We got to get familiar with one another out here. Amen. We got to get familiar with the people we're hitting the trenches with. Y'all need to be getting numbers from each other. You need to be able to build bonds with each other because who else can relate to you right now than the people that's marching with you? We need each other. Me and my chapter have a support group. We try to have a support group, if not every week, every two weeks. And even then we just hang out and talk about life in our free time. It's gotta be like family. It's gotta be like family because nobody wins when the family feuds. Nobody wins when the family feuds. We are being divisive. Don't get confused. We are. We are. We are, we are dividing morality against immorality. We're dividing hate from love. Being pro-black does not mean anti-white. Being pro-black does not mean anti-white. For the culture. Being pro-black does not mean anti-white. I'm just playing with y'all. I don't even need this microphone. pro-black out here because for 400 years this this system this country has been anti-black come on now so when I say when was America great I gotta ask what are you smoking come on now I'm being real with you because maybe I need some or maybe I need to come and knock on, on these doors out here. Maybe I need to start yelling out here and demand change. That's right. That's right. And I don't even need to be demanding it because when I was born on this planet, it was promised to me in this country. Yes. Just like it was promised for every one of you out here. So when I say that your privilege feels threatened because we're talking about equality, get your heart right. I came here to pit, I came here to punch Satan in the balls out here. Come on now. Come on now. I'm being real. I'm not, I'm not gonna be nice. I'm not gonna be nice. I don't gotta be nice to Satan out here. I'm gonna love on y'all. I'm gonna love on our opposition. I'm gonna call sin a sin out. Racism is a sin. It is. It is. We are all made in the image of God. All of you guys are beautiful out here. Amen. Every one of y'all. Every one of you. Keep your head up. To my black and brown people, keep your head up. Don't let your crown fall off. Keep your head up. You hear me, Christine? Keep your head up. Don't let this world blow your fire out. Keep your head up. This is the last generation, y'all. Yep. This is the last generation. They scared. They know it's coming. Yes. 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 Their yes. grandkids are turning against them. Absolutely. And they become my new brothers and sisters. Yes. 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 This is the last generation. We're not settling for this no more. They're not going to settle this. We're not going to, they hell don't even have to fight this. They're not inheriting this. As long as I got breath in my lungs and blood flowing through my veins, I'm going to fight for them. I'm going to fight for love. I'm going to lead with love out here. Yeah. That's the only way we're going to, that's the only way we're going to break the cycle. That's the only way we're going to break these generational curses out here. That's the only way. You're being too loud. Good. Yes. 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 Good. Yes. Good. Yes. Flip them tables in their temple. Well, yeah. come on now. For real. Come on now. We can put on the gas. Amen. My fire is 12 We can put on the gas. Amen. My
After this, go over here. Christine, keep your foot on the gas. Keep going there. I didn't catch your name. What was Beth your name? Beth Ann. Beth Ann. Keep your foot on the gas. And when y'all feeling tired and you can't march anymore, that's all right. We got enough soldiers out here. Hand that baton off. Yep. Hand that baton off. Hand that baton off. Tested by Satan, sitting in this passenger seat. Yeah. Keep it moving. Marathon continues. Yeah. 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 Yeah.